Hey Raiders, welcome back to the channel. It's Jarrett Gaming. I hope you're doing great today, or at least better than I am feeling. Yeah, no one, no one likes to see that. So, anyway, we move, we carry on, we don't let it put us down. So, uh, Ray just released a little preview, a uh, sneak peek video for update 7.60. I've not seen it yet, and I thought, even though I feel like dog's dinner, I'm sure I could just sit here and watch a video with you guys and get a little bit of content up and just give my um, points of view uh, on the update and we'll, talk, we'll have a little discussion with myself um, <laughs> as to what is actually being dropped. Fingers crossed, it's something juicy. All right, let's kick it off, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Spooktober. <laughs> so we're getting into the spirit of this most frightful of seasons with a sneak peek at some of the awesome things coming to Raid in Update 7.60. We're keeping it low key for this one with some new clan features, much requested quality of life changes, and a collection of... Oh, yes, I saw this was on the update, wasn't it, where they're going to remove... You can remove this little filter. See that button in the uh, top left next to Diablo's icon? We can now turn that off, which is great. If you're sac like me, when you farm 12-3 and you're sacrificing tons of these guys, you don't care about saving them. So yeah, that's cool. They have truly terrifying champions. Sound good? Then let's do it. First is a feature that clans will love. Clan insignias. Yes, you can now design your own custom in-game insignia and fly your clan's colors wherever you go. While the clan leader ultimately decides on an insignia's final design, everyone in the clan can play around with the insignia creator, so they can craft their own masterpiece to present to their glorious liege. We won't show you everything in this sneak peek, but just know that you get to choose your insignia's shape, pattern, colors, and up to six symbols that you can move and rotate however you'd like. Combining all these elements will allow anyone to create a unique insignia and make their clan instantly recognizable. Yeah, that's kind of cool, especially for the clusters. Um, I mean, we're all in Sin, but there's obviously different types, so it'd be kind of cool to uh, personalize your own one. There's definitely not nothing wrong with that. So it's a bit of fun. You know, everyone's, everyone does it. I mean, Christ, it was even in Destiny, I think, like 20 years ago. So, you know, yeah, why not? That's good. As for where you'll see these resplendent emblems, They'll be displayed next to your name on various tournament leaderboards, in the Doom Tower rankings, in the Arena, and in the Hydra Clash tab. Just take a look at some of the awesome insignias we've managed to come up with. Pretty cool. We can't wait to see what you expert artists can do with these tools. But that's not all for clans in this update. Not only can you create a shiny new coat of arms, but you can show off your clan's might via these shiny new stars shown above your insignia. Introducing Clan Leagues. It's a simple enough concept. Perform well in CVC tournaments and Hydra Clashes, and you'll earn your clan points that will see you progress through the league and, in turn, unlock clan stars that'll be displayed above your clan insignia. In the future, these points can also be earned in clan PvP events, which I know you're all eagerly awaiting. All clans begin starless, but as you progress through each clan league, you'll earn up to five stars. Once you've earned five stars in Bronze League, you progress to Silver. Earn five silver stars, and you rank up to gold. Once this update goes live, a new tab will be added to the clan menu where every member can see their clan's progress toward the next star. Or you can simply go stargazing. I mean, a bit of a pointless addition, really. I mean, uh, is that just, uh, I don't know, a bit of dick measuring now, I think, guys. It's, uh, it's not bringing us anything. I mean, great, it's got a few challenges, I suppose, and a bit of teamwork. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but, uh, you know, you're not getting anything out of it. So what's the point of that one, really? Magnificent. Those are the clan features coming up in Update 7.60. Now it's time for those all-important quality of life improvements. To start, the Events tab is getting quite the rework to include more info on various in-game activities. It will show all relevant activities you can do in Raid either ongoing or those that will start in the near future, provide more information in general, and look much better than it did before. Actually, we do have more good news for clans. All clans... It would actually be nice, I think, if uh, you could actually preview, you know, what's going to be up for grabs. I'm hoping that's what they mean. But yeah, it'd be nice to actually be able to click on that and think, oh, I can get a book or uh, a prison, you know, a primal shard or... Uh, 
you know, an immortal soul stone. Yeah, great. Then I'll, I'll go for it. I'll even look at it and just think, nah, it's not going to be a waste of time. And you can just sort of skip it. Land quests that required you to complete certain objectives in various dungeons will now include the hard mode stages of those dungeons come the release of 7.60. Finally, we're updating the tavern UI. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's been a long time coming. That's uh, so many times, you know, you sort of think, why am I running? <laughs> spider 10, burning these in underlings, these spiderlings, and uh, I'm not getting the pop up. Yeah, because you're doing hard mode, Sam. I with aye, a new aye, button aye. that'll allow you to disable the warning pop up when you try to sacrifice a champion required for a fusion. The game will remember this setting for specific champions. So if you've disabled it once for someone like War Maiden, you won't be bothered the next time you try to sacrifice her. That's the main course done, and so it's time for. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like, I like that a lot. I think that's great. It's a great addition. I know it's something they said they've been doing it for a while, but I think that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Very good. Desert, our champion showcase. As mentioned early, we are wasting no time in throwing ourselves into spooky season, and we hope you'll be joining us when our many Halloween events go live. We're going for a haunted carnival vibe this year, and two of our new champions capture it well. Kaja the Rye and Timmit the Fool know a thing about trick-or-treating, and are certainly eager to revel in the Halloween spirit. Just watch out for the bloodstains they'll leave behind. But the Halloween fun does not end there. Lady Mikage and Night Queen Crixia may not be creepy clowns, but no one would dare accuse them of not being scary. Not all the champions coming in this update are dressed up for Halloween, but they deserve the limelight nonetheless. You can see some. Ooh, yeah, it's cool. New Ogryn. Some of them on screen right now. Oh, look at that. These guys always get the best skins. Thank you, honey. Cheers, babe. Oh, refreshments. Oh, that is hot. God, look at him. Honestly, Skinwalker's got the best skins. Uh, even though he's actually a lizard man. So I don't know why I keep saying Skinwalker's. So guys, the, uh, the old noggin's not quite working. Yeah, lizard man. But he still looks cool. And so... We draw this spooky sneak peek to a close. We hope you liked what you've seen so far and look forward to your feedback as always. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more raid goodies. Until next time, happy raiding. <laughs> yeah, always looking for uh, some feedback there. Well, guys, what do you think of that? I mean, it's... Uh... As you say, it was only a sneak peek. It's kind of cool. Uh, clan insignias. I mean, yeah, as I say, I think if the clan leader has time to spare, you know, maybe on his train journey into work, he might want to start setting some up. You know, like, again, we're in Sin and it's a huge cluster. So, you know, there's tons of uh, sub clans that could probably use this and may want to use it. Why not? You know, it's a bit of fun. It's all good. Can't moan about that, really. Clan leagues, I think, it's a bit pointless, really. I mean, what's the sum of the stuff here? Look, win CVC tournament with four versus rewards. Win two, you know. I don't think you get anything out of it. It's just kind of cool. I suppose it's just to help push the clan members and to uh, make sure everyone's pulling their weight. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't see much about that really. Quality of life. What did he say about the... He said he was opening up movements. To start, the events tab is getting quite the rework. There's one who said he's opening up something. I mean, this is quite a cool interface, actually. What's on in Teleria? Christmas event. Okay, bit of a sneak peek. Offers, obviously. Themed, themed, themed boost. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So that's, well, maybe it's just a bit of a... Easy mapping area, rather than oh, you can still click three times. It's not like it's massively out of the way, but so I do hope we can get sort of previews of uh, these events before they actually drop, just just to see if it's actually worth it. I think that I like this removing this is great. Uh, new champs, I mean these new champs, and the spider girl. Look at those, look at those claws. Man, they look great. Uh, yeah, she's not. Yeah, she looks all right. 
but what's that another night rev it's got to be in it this guy mm, not too sure not sold on this fella to see what he does in game it looks like it looks like something out of dark souls is he straight out of dark souls this guy this lady yeah we will see we'll see what happens Very um, Harley Quinn. I'm sure that mace. Look at the mace that she's got. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Mythicals. No idea on how to get them yet. How's that? What else is that guy? He looks. Uh, he's different than the one we saw, isn't he? Because he's. Um, He's got all bones on him. This one could be an undead champ. Just some, some fancy pants elf. And she's got to be uh, Sylvan Watcher. Bit of a boring design, that one there. This guy looks wicked. Look at him. He looks so good. If only they put like a little TikTok clock or, a, or like a hand, like Captain Hook. Yeah, they should do like a fantasy theme. That'd be a good one. Anyway, guys, I've waffled on for a bit, but let me know what you think about that. I mean, it looks pretty cool. There's only a few snippets, but the quality of life changes are great. New champs are great. New events are great. You know, what's what's not to uh, what's not to like? So there we go, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.